Hallelujah. So if you believe and you have this life, you are a believer. If you believe in what Jesus did, if you believe in his death, burial, and resurrection, you are a believer. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. A believer is one that has received the life of God. A believer is one that has received the life of God. A believer is a man that believes and the life of God has been given to him. The one that has received Christ. The Bible says, he that has life, he that has the Son, has life. Hallelujah. Why? Because life is with the Son. Praise the Lord. And so remember, the, the Son is the life. The Son of God is the life of God. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the way, the truth, and life. So he is the life. Jesus is the life. So whosoever has life, has or has the son, has the life. Hallelujah. Amen. So a believer is a life carrier. Amen. Amen. The, the believer is a life carrier. Hallelujah. Amen. So another thing I want us to know about the, the about, about the believer, because we're going to look at the scripture. It's um, in Ephesians chapter 2. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 2. Ephesians 2. From verse 18. He said, But now in Christ Jesus, you who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace who had made both one and had broken down the middle wall of partition between us. So Jesus, in his death, broke the middle wall of partition, the dividing line. He broke, he took it away. He broke that line, okay? How? By, Bible says, verse 15, having abolished in his flesh the enmity. He abolished, he destroyed in his flesh the enemy. Contain, okay, the enmity. Even the law of commandment, contained in ordinances for to make in him of two of twine the, the Greek the, the King James says twine of two one new man so he made one new man so making peace so the new the new man is the product of the gospel the new man is the product of of the death burial and resurrection of Jesus Christ so when Jesus died, he brought about the new man. So the believer is the new man. The believer is a new man in Christ. The believer is a new man in Christ. Remember we said the believer is the one that has the son. The believer is the one that has life. The believer is he that believes in the death, burial, and resurrection. The believer is he that has the life of God. And now we are saying that the believer is the new man. This is the product of the work of Christ on the cross is the product of the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. So the, 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 the believer is the new man. Hallelujah. He is also the man of peace. He is the man that Jesus has made, that has peace with the Father. That the Father is peace with, the Father is at peace with the new man. So you know what I'm saying? The father is at peace with the new man. So the new man does not look, does not look for a way on how to please God. He is already at peace with God. He is already pleasing to the Father. Hallelujah. Amen. So I want you to say, if you are a believer, I want, you, I want you to know and also to say that I am at peace with God. I am at peace with the Father. I am at peace with God. I am at peace with the Father. Hallelujah. Amen. I am at peace with God. I am at peace with the Father. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you're not looking for a way on how to, how to make peace with God. But once you believe in Jesus, you believe in the cross, you believe in the dead and burial, you are at peace with God. You are at peace. God is at peace. You have, you have pleased the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So believers are God pleasers. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. So now let's look at um, um, Galatians 6. Galatians 6. And verse 15. Oh, Wait, I know Hallelujah. Jesus is here. Hallelujah. There as, there, for in Christ Jesus, for in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision availed anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. 
Praise God. Amen. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision availed anything, nor uncircumcision, but what? So we see that the new man is a new creature in Christ. The new man is a new creature, is a new man. Sorry, the believer is a new creature in Christ. The believer is a new man. Hallelujah. Amen. The believer is a new man. Yes, Praise God. Hallelujah. The believer is a new man. Yes. Now look at what the Bible says in first in I would like us to go there. Maybe short, let, let us go there before we go there. The Bible says something, it says uh, in Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 17. He said, if any, if, if any man be in Christ. So the believer is a man in Christ. The believer is a man in Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. The believer is a man in Christ. Don't forget to say in Ephesians. Don't forget to say in Ephesians. He said, to make in himself, Ephesians 2 verse 15, to make, for to make in himself of two, one new man. Praise God. Amen. So the believer is in Christ, and he is in Christ a new man. He is in Christ a new man. So for if so guys and uh, second uh, Corinthians 5 verse 17, then if any man be in Christ, if any man be in Christ, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. He is in new all things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. The new man. Praise God. He is a new creation. He is a new man. He is a new man. Hallelujah. No matter what, he is neither a Greek. He's neither a Gentile, he's, ne he's, he's, he's neither a Roman, he's neither a Jew, he's neither a, 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 a barbarian, he's neither a, a whatever, he's neither a Nigerian, he's neither a, an American, he's neither a British. He is a new man in Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And because he has the life of God, we say that he is a, a he is the son of God. Hallelujah. The new man is the son of God. Oh, hallelujah. The new man is the son of God because he has the life of God. When you receive God's life, you become God's son. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So the new man is, um, is a new, is a, the believer is a new man in Christ. Also, all right, let's look at the scripture. Um, Ephesians chapter 1. Ephesians chapter 1. Are you there? Yes, sir. Alright, we're going to look at from verse from verse 22. Okay. It says, okay, let's read from verse um okay, let's read from verse 17 so that we, we, we get it in uh, we, we, we get it in context, we understand it. Praise God. That, that the God of our Father, the God and our Lord Jesus Christ, sorry, the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. Are you there? That ye may know what is the hope of His calling and what the riches of the glory of His inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness. Of his power to us what who believe according to the working of his mighty power. 20. Which he wrought in Christ. The power which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead and set him at his own right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principalities and power and mind and dominion and every name that is named. Not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. 22. And have put all things under his feet and gave him to be the head over all things to the church. So, Jesus, he gave, God gave Jesus to be the head over all things to the church. The word things there is not is, is not in the original Greek. So what is it? He, he gave him to be the head over all to the church. He's the head over all to the church. 23. Which is his body. So you see that the church is his body. Amen. The church, which is his body, the fullness of him that filleth all in all. So the church of God is the body of Christ. The church of God 
the church is the body hallelujah and the believer is the church the believer is the body of Christ oh, it's okay. you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. amen okay. amen all right let's look at um let's look at first Corinthians chapter 12. first Corinthians chapter 12. are you there all right we're going to look we're going to read from we will have it from Jesus is here. Verse 26. And whether the member suffer, or all the member suffer with all the members suffer with it. Praise God. There are one member be honor, all the members rejoice with it. Now my, my, what are, my, the best I'm looking for is the best person. So, say, now ye are the body of Christ. I see it? Ye are the body of Christ and members in particular. Hello. Now ye are what? So, he said that you, you, say, you are, you are the body of Christ. Remember, he said that the church is the body of Christ. And Paul is saying here that you are the body of Christ. And member, the word member there is the word limb. You are part, part of this body. Praise God. Particularly, Paul says that is precisely you are you are the part of this body. Hallelujah. The, the coming together of the of the parts makes up the entire body of Christ. So everybody is a member of the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The, 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 total, the, the, the totality of the members of Christ is what we call the church, is what we call the body of Christ. So believers are the church, believers are the member of the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Say, I am the body of Christ. And members in particular. I am the body of Christ. And members in particular. Hallelujah. So we've got to look at Ephesians chapter 5 for a more detailed explanation. Praise God. Ephesians 5. Are you there? All right. Now let me get to look at um, from verse twenty-five. I'm going to be to read down from there. Love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave Himself to it, that He might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the wall, that He might present it to Himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkles or any such thing, but that it should be holy. And without blemish. Okay? So he loved the church, the church which is his body. Hallelujah. So ought men to love their wives, their own bodies. He that loveth his wife, loveth himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourished and cherished it, even as the Lord the church. For now look at what he says from verse 13. For we are members of his body. Remember, it says, you are the body of Christ and members in particular. Hallelujah. Amen. That's in 2 Corinthians chapter. Sorry, that's in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Um, we're, ready, we're reading down from verse 25 down and so on. 5, 26, 27. From verse 27. So, therefore, no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourished it and treated it even as, as the Lord, the body, the, the church. For we are members of his body. So, you see that the believer is a member of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. And it's something, I see this. So, we are of his flesh, we are his flesh, and we are his bones. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, if you read that, for this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife, and they two shall be one. 
Tell me, this is a great, this is a great mystery, but I speak concerning Christ and the church. So what he's saying here, he's talking about Christ and his church. So Christ left and joined to his wife. So the body of Christ, we are his wives. Okay, I should use the word wives, right? Now, the body of Christ is, like you say, Paul is trying to explain him, is the wife. So Jesus came, Christ came, and was joined to his body, and they became one. So we become his member, we become his flesh, oh my God. We become his body, we become his bones. So he said that it is a mystery, it's a mystery. We are his member, we are his flesh. So my flesh is the flesh of Christ. My body, my bone is the bone of Christ, hallelujah. My body is the body of Christ, my flesh is the flesh of Christ. So it's no more my flesh, it's now Christ's flesh. Hallelujah. We are his flesh, we are his bones. So my bones, your bone, your flesh, your flesh, my flesh, your flesh, is the flesh of Christ. Hallelujah. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? That my body is his body, my flesh is his flesh. My bone is his bone. That's what Paul is trying to say. He has been joined to his body. He has been joined to us. So we are one with him. So the believer is one with him. Praise God. He said, this is a mystery. We are one with him. Hallelujah. All right, let's look at, um, let's look at 1 Corinthians 6. So we are looking at who is a believer. Hallelujah. Amen. Who is a believer? So say, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. Say, I'm a believer. I'm a believer. All right. Are you there at 1 Corinthians 6? All right. We're going to read from... From verse 14. And God. Okay, let's not read from verse 14. Let's read from, from verse 15. From verse, sorry, from verse 18. It says, meat for the body, for the belly. Are you there? Meat for the belly. And the belly for meat. But God shall destroy both it and them. Now the body is not for fornication, but for the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, the body is not for fornication, but for the Lord. And the Lord for the body. Hallelujah. He says, the body is not for fornication. The body is for the Lord. And the Lord for the body. Now, when you see the Lord here, he's talking about Christ, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, the uh, belly, uh, meat for the belly and the belly for the meat. He said, but God shall destroy both it and them. He said, now, nah, the Lord is, the body is not for fornication, but for the Lord and the Lord for what? The for the body. Hallelujah. He said, and God had both Raise up the Lord, and we also raise up us by what His power. So we are raised by the power of God. Hallelujah! Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. So know ye not that your bodies are the members of Christ? You see that? So that our body are our body are the parts, are members, are the limbs of Christ. Hallelujah! Shall I then take the members of Christ and make them the members of an harlot? God forbid. Verse 16. What? Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two, said he, shall be one flesh. Now you see that he now draws, he goes back to make, uh, uh, to, to, to draw for uh, references from, from, from the scriptures. Hallelujah. It says, for two said he shall be, shall be one flesh. 17. But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. So we are one spirit with the Lord. 
Hallelujah. So is it that good to know my spirit is one with the Lord? My body is one with the Lord. My flesh is one with the Lord. My bone is one with the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything about the believer is one with the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Everything about the believer is one with the Lord. Hallelujah. So he says, But he that is joined unto the Lord is one spirit. Flee fornication. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. Verse 19. What? Know ye not that your body, your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own to that. See, that means he's telling us that our body is not our body. Our body belongs to Christ. Our bodies belong to Jesus. Our bodies belong to Christ. Our bodies belong. So somebody say, my body belongs to Christ. My body belongs to Jesus. My body belongs to God. Hallelujah. He says, for ye are bought with a price. Hallelujah. So I say, I'm bought with a price. And that price is the blood of Jesus. For I said, for ye are bought with the, with the price, therefore glorify God in your body which, and in your spirit, which are God. So my body and my spirit belongs to God. My body and my spirit belongs to God. No, they don't just belong to God. They are God's. They are Christ. They are... He now becomes... <laughs> you know what that, uh, uh, Franklin said? God's property. We are God's own property. We are God's, we belong to Him. My spirit belongs to God. My body belongs to God. I am of His flesh, of His, of his bones. I am, I am His body, His flesh, and His bones. So the believer is one with God. The believer is one spirit with God. The believer is one body with God. The believer's body is the body of Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, when we take up the bread in communion, when we lift up the bread and then we break the bread, what we are doing, we are breaking ourselves. Hallelujah. Amen. We are demonstrating the dead burial of Jesus. Jesus. When Jesus broke the bread, said, this is my body broken for you. Hallelujah. Amen. So, when he said, this is my body, and we are his body. The believer is being broken. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You know, at the day, burial and resurrection, we were broken. Hallelujah. Amen. We were broken to become his body. Praise the Lord. Therefore, we no more have a body. We have the body of Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I would like to to to, to stop here for today and then um, we'll follow up the, the meaning of the message. I don't know, because uh, looking at the time, all right, um, we want to to let this word sink in you, praise God. And then by next Sunday, we will continue the word. We will look uh, into the two kinds of believers, praise God. Now, remember I said that it's not that there are two kinds of believers, remember there's only one new man, amen. amen. But um, just using that 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 uh, use that title to to to, to give an explanation to to the message. Praise God. Amen. So the believer, like we said before, that we want to this again. Said the believer is the one that has the life of God, has received the life of God. The believer is a man that uh, received, has received the life of God. The believer is a believer in the dead burial and resurrection of Jesus. Yes, that's why we said that. It, that the believer is. He that has received the life of God, the believer is he that is a new man. Remember I said, the believer is a new man. The believer is a man that God is pleased with. The believer is a man of peace. God is pleased with the believer. Two, then we now say that the believer is the body of Christ. Okay, amen. The believer is the body of Christ. The believer is he that has been joined together with Christ. So his body becomes the body of Christ. His flesh become the flesh of Christ. His bone become the bone of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. We also say that the believer's spirit 
is one with Christ. He is one spirit with Christ. Hallelujah. So the believer is Christ. Hallelujah. The believer is Christ. When you see a believer, you see Christ. When you see a believer, you see Jesus because he has been joined together with Christ. The life that runs in Christ is the life that runs in the, in the believer. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, we use the word Zoe to describe the life of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the life of God is an incorruptible life and a life that knows no, de no defeat. A life that knows no death is called eternal life. I don't know so well. Praise God. This life is what the believer has received by virtue of believing in what Jesus did for him. Hallelujah. Amen. And because he's not a member of the family, the life of God and I don't know so well runs in him. Praise God. Amen. So we are joined together with him as believers. We believe in his death, burial, and resurrection. We believe that he died for us. Hallelujah. And then we share in his inheritance, we share in his life. We share in, in, in the, the position of Christ. We share in his life. We share in what he did. We share in his death, burial, and resurrection. We share, we, we, do you know, we even share in, eh? we share in the power. We share in the throne. All that belongs to Christ belongs to us. We are co-inheritors. Hallelujah. Amen. We are, we are co-heirs with him. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to believe you are blessed. Hallelujah. Yeah. This knowledge will make, makes us to know who we are. Yes, we are not limited to this world. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes. We are not limited to this world. We are not limited to, to, to circumstances. No. no. Circumstances do not put us down. Rather, by virtue of the life of God in us, we reign over circumstances. Yes. We reign over difficulties. We reign over situations. Hallelujah. Yes. The world may go through things. Then we will not go through them. Hallelujah. If we go through them, we will come out victorious. Hallelujah. What kills people in the world will not kill us. Hallelujah. Why? I understand the way lives in us. The life of God reigns in us. Hallelujah. We are victorious. We are victorious in Christ Jesus. We are kings and priests. We reign in this life. Jesus has been made to sit with the Father, the right hand of the Father, Father of God, Peace, Father and Power. We also have been made to sit with Him in heavenly places. Hallelujah. So we sit with Him. We reign. We are above all things. The new man is a man that is above all things. Therefore, I am above all things. Hallelujah. I am above sickness and disease. I am above lack. I am above disappointment. I am above frustration. I am above limitation. Oh, hallelujah. He that is above is above all. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at what the Bible says. Bible says in Colossians chapter 3. It says, if you be seated with him. Okay, let's go there. Let's go there. Oh, man of If you be seated with, with him, who is above? Say, set your mind. Hallelujah. Amen. Colossians chapter 3. Colossians 3. The if you then be seated with Christ, he says, seek those things. Which are above, where Christ seated on the right hand of God. Say, okay, I see that that, that that's the job. Say, if you have been, if you have, if you have uh, taken part, if you have partaken, all right, that was correct. If you have, if you, you have, if you, if you, if you have taken part, if you have, have, have had communion, Hallelujah. If you partook with the with the resurrection with the with the with the with the, with the, um, um, with the resurrection with the birth of the cross if you have risen with him hallelujah if you have risen with christ then we should seek those things which are above where christ is seated are on the right hand of god then set your mind on things above we should we should set our mind on on, on heavenly things we should set our mind on spiritual things hallelujah Amen. and not on things on earth oh god oh god so we shouldn't set our mind on earthly things oh my god we'll talk about this more on on, on next week sunday hallelujah it's going to be mind-blowing praise god it's going to be mind-blowing hallelujah so if you set our mind on these things hallelujah. for you are dead and your life is hidden with christ in god hallelujah so when christ who is alive shall appear hallelujah he said this life he said christ is our life hallelujah christ is our 
alive. So Christ is not just a person, he's alive. You might say that, that Jesus is the life of God. Oh, that I am the way, the truth, and the life. Say, remember, I remember I said that, that he that has the son has life, that, according to the scripture. Say, he that has the son has life. So this Christ is our life. So, so he said, Christ is my life. Christ is my life. So Christ is the life of the believer. Hallelujah. Amen. So when Christ, who is our life, shall appear, say, then shall we, ye, also appear with him in glory. So the appearing of Christ is the appearing of the believer. Oh. Hallelujah. He said the appearing of Christ is the appearing of, of, of the believer. The revelation of Christ is the revelation of the believer. Oh God. The coming of Christ is the coming of the believer. When Christ who is our life shall appear, the them shall we appear with him in glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We shall be revealed at the coming of Christ. Hallelujah. The revelation, the revealing of the believer. Creations are with the manifestation, the apocalypses of the believer. The revelation of the believer is the revelation of Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Friends, you see, by what we have just seen in scriptures, we have the spirit, we, we are joined with Christ. We are one with him in spirit, one with him in body, in flesh and in bones. Oh my God. Hallelujah. We are one with him. The totality of the believer has been made, has been unified, has been, has been, has been identified with Christ. So the revelation of Christ is the revelation of the believer. Hallelujah. What Christ therefore has, we also have. We are co heirs co-inheritors with him. The reign of Christ is the reign of the believer. Hallelujah. Christ and the believer have become inseparable. Amen. Christ and the believer have been joined. They have been unified. Hallelujah. For what God has joined together, let no man, let nothing put away. Oh my God. Hallelujah. Paul said in Romans chapter 8, so what shall separate us from the law, from the unification, from the love of God? Nothing. He says nothing. No forces. Not even death. Not even lack. Not even peril. Nothing shall separate us from the love of God. Hallelujah. Amen. We have been joined together with him and nothing shall separate us. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And because Christ is above all, we are above all. Amen. We are above all. Amen. We are from above. Him that is from above is above all. Now, because we are with Him and our origin is, is, is above, we are above all. Amen. We are above circumstances. Amen. We are above the condition of the nation, Nigeria. Amen. We are above the condition of the state, Akwabu. We are above. We are above sickness and disease. We are above all. We are above lack. We are above recession. We are above, above depression. We are above all. So I said, I'm above all. If you believe, say, I'm above all. I'm above all. I'm above the enemy. I'm above darkness. I'm above oppression. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Have you seen what God has done? He is a God of love. He so loved all that he gave his only begotten son to put us and bless us with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The song says he didn't want heaven without us. Hallelujah. That's why he came down. So he brought heaven down. Hallelujah. 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 You know, we are joined with him. We are sitting with him. Oh, bless God. Bless God. Therefore, let us be in this week, this story, let us begin to rise above every obstacle in our lives. Let's begin to pray every obstacle in our life. Let's begin to have communion. Let's begin to have, oh my God, Jesus is above all. Jesus is above all. If Jesus is above all, then we are above all. If God is above all, then we are above all. Then remember, we have the very life of God. We have the very life of God. We have his faith. Yeah. We have his faith. Yeah. We have his faith. Yeah. We live as he lived. We live. As he lives, oh Marako Sekerete Lipa Roko Saka Mangra Ante Le Procose Pele Yaprakati La Shoko Tono Procoso Tono Procose Keteya Sekereno Satila Prangana Procoro Baria Mase Procoso Tono Procoro. Let me take 
Malibre to sobre katuzo prakata. Zangaya azakayama. Medi akase eno koshibra. Going to pray, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We declare multiplication. Our over our condition. Over that thing that possesses that, that us. We speak multiplication. We speak multiplication. We speak multiplication. We speak multiplication. Mara prako sofre hel. Zofane a sabrahane a sovela. Zufrahe prahe de prahe to sofia. Zabaria baroko sofrahana la casa. Zabaria kaze ke roko sofraha. Manda de 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 re de ze ko roko se pre ke ze ke. E ze ke re de ze ke re ko sika. We command multiplication in our business. We command multiplication in our homes. In our finances. In our, even, even your food in your house can multiply. Hey, Master, we command multiplication by the power of the Holy Ghost. We command multiplication by the power of the Holy Ghost. Multiplication. Man, Karapa, Kasebra, Katala, Ezabara, Kapa, Karapa, Daba. Lord, we ask for multiplication. Man, Rahada, we give you thanks for that which we have, and therefore we command multiplication. Man, Rapa, Sekete, Mari, Katala. God can provide finances in our account miraculously. If we have miracle food, we can have miracle money. Money, miracle money into our account. Miracle money into our account. Thank you, Lord Jesus. There's supply. There is supply. There is supply. There's supply of healing. Yes, there's supply of breakthrough. There's supply of jobs. Uh -huh. There's supply of business. Yes, money for that business is supplied now. It is supplied now. Lembarako Seba. Hey, breakthrough. Finances. Breakthrough in the area of finances is released to. To somebody, even maybe, maybe thinking of what, how you are going to feed, how you are going to eat. I declare supply Amen. of your feeding, Amen. supply of food, Amen. supply. And yes, you will know that of the truth, Jesus is Lord. Of the truth, you have been unified with Him. Amen. You have been made one with Him. Man, say, Carlos, Zabarobo, say, Padia, Zokara, Toso, Para, Reke, say, Paruso, Parika, Tase, Kereke, Le Kosotoria. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, we give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Oh, to that one that needs healing, receive healing. Amen. Receive healing. Amen. Receive healing. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Receive healing. Oh, Marakaso Tolo Prohose Teleba. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The name of the Lord be blessed and exalted. Be blessed and exalted. Be blessed and exalted. Oh, miracles. It's given to everyone that needs miracles. Oh, like, oh my God. The power of God within you is bringing for your miracle. It's bringing for your miracle. Angels around you is working out your miracle. In the name of Jesus. Oh, you will testify. You will testify. You will testify. You will testify. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Your name will not be praised and exalted. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory and honor. Glory and honor. Hallelujah. So good to have us, to have you. Hallelujah. It's been a wonderful time in the world of the Lord. Amen. Amen. God is great. God has done so much for us. Amen. We are here still alive. We are still strong. The word of God is still alive in our spirit. Praise God. Uh, I would like you always to get updates of what is happening. Always be on my page and know what's happening. Um, 
currently there is a WhatsApp group of the Revolution Church. Uh, I, have, I, have, I posted it on, on, on my timeline, so you can go to my timeline, you see the Revolution Church, it's a WhatsApp group. Uh, do well to, to join the group, hallelujah. Join us, um, there are a series of teachings that will be taking place. Um, uh, uh, more more um, particularly on the Zoom app, praise God. It's going to be a thorough teaching where scriptures will be explained in details. Hallelujah. It's going to be like a training, a training session where questions can be asked and answered. It's going to be like a Bible study, a Bible study where you can ask questions and then and answers will be given. Hallelujah. Detailed answers. Hallelujah. Will be given. That will, and the purpose for that group is to raise men who will work on earth on Christ. So it's going to be kind of a training, kind of a Bible school per se. And click the WhatsApp, the page that has to be the, with the WhatsApp group, the WhatsApp group, and join. Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. There's a link there. Praise God. Mm. I trust the Lord that our continuous fellowship will bring forth light, will bring forth understanding, will bring forth renewal. Hallelujah. Don't forget that the new man is renewed by knowledge of, of believers. Hallelujah. So, do well to join us. God bless you in Jesus' name. You are blessed. Hallelujah. You are blessed. See you next week in Jesus' name. Amen.